Hello folks, this is Malik and today I am here with the fourth part of Trignon tutorial. In last three videos, I have explained how to create a network component by Traform in AWS. Today, I gonna start with module subject and how to use our network component as a module and use it in different environment. As you see in this diagram, I have multi-environment, dev environment and production environment. In dev environment, in US East region and US West region, we need to create a network component in each one. And also for production in both region, in US East one and US West one also need to create network component. So I can use the network component that I have created before to create a network component in US East one. Also, if I want to do the same for the next region, also I can copy all the codes that I have created in this region and run the Traform and create for this region. And I can do the same for another region. But as you see here, it is wasting our time and using a code multiple times. So here module concept comes to play. We can use the network component as a module that we have created before and in each environment and region just call the module. So let's go into VS Code and do it in action. At first check the Traform TF state as you remember, in last session, we transfer TF state from the local to AWS S3. So it is safe to delete it. And also let's check another thing here before going to the modules. Here, as you see for the region, also we can use a variable. Let's change the region as a variable. In variable, create a new variable. Let's call it region location add description and back to the main and here use var dot region selection also we need to declare it in traform tvars here just using the name of variable here and add us east one let's test it Traform plan. Yes, it's going to US East one. Okay. Let's go to the project folder and make a folder with environment name. Also create a folder for dev, production, and modules. As you see here, we are in project folder. Just create a new folder called it environment. Inside environment, let's create two folder, one called dev and another called production. Inside dev, create another two folder, one for US East one and another one US West one. Let's back and make the same folders in production. US East one and US West one. Let's back to the project and here create another folder called modules. Okay, let's back to VS Code. You see here I have an environment with two subfolder dev. Inside dev you see US East one and US West one and also in production we have the same. Let's select the files that we have created before control x and transfer in module let's module let's create a network folder and paste the file here also we don't need this file anymore so in the project folder i have created environment with these subfolders and also created 
a module and also I transfer the files into the module so I would like going to the US is one the same as here so I gonna to create a network component here it using module so here I create a file called main.tf here how to call a module so how to call a module in traform when we want to call a module we have to use module block just type module give it a name and define the source of your module at the moment our module is located on our computer it's called local source also you can locate your source on one of the repository provider like Bitbucket, GitLab, GitHub, and so on. So in source, you have to define where is located and from where we can get that module. And also define some config and I will show you in action. Here is an example, for example, module network source let's back to diagram you see we are here for access to module we have one step back here another step to environment and another step to arrive to project because module is located in project we know access in module and going to the network you see one step and now we are on project folder. It means we are on root. Then going inside module and then going inside network. Let's back to VS Code. So type module, give it a name like network and we have to define source. So one step, two step, it show us here. Let's save it. Okay. So now we call network module in network module if we check the variables in network module we have four variables so we have to declare these variables in us east one the first one the second one we have to declare the variables here which cider block we want to use for vpc for example 10.10.00 slash 16 and for the public 10.10.1.0 slash 24 and for the private one 10.10.3.0 slash 24 for the region location we are in us east one so we're gonna do it for this region Control s save it clear terminal so let's go to cd environment dev us east one at first let run traform fmt to make them more user friendly you see here so let's run traform in it look it here initial module go to the network and download module to use it here there is a warning what's that backend configuration ignored in line 9 in module let's go into the module main line 9 as you see normally for our project we are using the same bucket but the key is different because if we use the same key all the network tf state file will overwrite to each other for example for the dev we wanted to save it in the us east one and for us west one we have to change it there is one thing here maybe you say why we don't use variable here in response we have to say backend cannot accept variable this is 
one of the problems that Traform cannot support variables in backend. So please keep that in your mind because when we arrive to using Trigrant, Trigrant solve this problem. Let leave it as is. So in a state using backend in module, we can remove we can remove all the Traform block and transfer that to here. So here we can add dev us is one. At the moment we are using like this. So we have a Traform block and also a network block. So let's delete this configuration that created by Traform in it and clean a screen and rerun Traform in it. So after we rerun that, don't have this warning again. Let's look it here. After we run Traform in it, it has created this folder. You see here, downloaded module here and also downloaded provider plugin here. So let's clean a screen and run Traform plan. So you see here 10.10.00 slash 16 and also and also 10.10.1.0 slash 24 for the public one and the same for the private one. So as you see here using module, it's not a big concern. But let's play a little more with module here. Let's create another file called variables.tf. I want to transfer what I want to do. At first, I want to define variables. Instead of declaring statically, we want to do it dynamically. So let's copy them Control c going to variables put them here just i want to use them variable Control c put it here add it here let me do it for the others also quickly okay as you see here i define four variables here so let's make an a space between them to be more user friendly i deleted extra information here so back to the main and remove this one and use the variables vpc and the same for here public region location let's run it again as you see the same result so for every region and every environment we can just copy these files and in variable just play with the value as we want also we can do our job a little nicer let's create another file here called traform.tfvars like before if you remember we wanted to declare the codes here so it's easy just put them let's remove the value and transfer the values from here to here also let's in variables remove the declaration maybe you think this is funny but later in trigram using declaration in tfvars will help us more i will show you soon in trigram configuration let's run traform plan and we get the same result okay let's copy this tree file and transfer the copy to the next one also production paste here in dev us west one just going to the traform tf bar and change it to west and also we can use uh, every cider block we want to for example 10 20 and let's go to the production in traform tf bars just change the cider block to 192 168 and here and also go and also go to production us west one and for example 172 16 and one important thing please don't forget to change the key 
for each environment. For example, here, here is US West. Let's go to the production, P-R-O-D, US East one, and this one, P-R production, and change it to West, Control S. So just in a little second, we find this diagram. Environment, dev, US is one. This one, call the module. For this one, network, call network module, and so on. Let's back to VS Code, Control L. Just let me change the directory and cd US West one. Traform, init. Also here, download modules and initialize the backend and traform plan let's see cider block and us west 1a for the private one at the moment we can use traform apply to deploy network component for each region as you saw here using module make our job more easier in next video i will explain how to use Trigram to deploy such diagram. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.